When I was growing up and working out and competing in bodybuilding competitions, I thought collagen protein was absolute junk. It was garbage. But boy, was I wrong. In this video, I'm going to talk about the six amazing health benefits of collagen protein. Hello and welcome to Total Health with Dr. Nick. My purpose is to inspire, empower, and motivate you to live longer, healthier, and more abundant lives. And guys, if you like what we're talking about today, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you click that bell notification. I get talked all the time by people that they say, Dr. Nick, I don't know when you're posting your videos, I'm not notified, so make sure that bell is clicked. Guys, let's talk about today the six amazing health benefits of collagen or collagen protein. And like I said, when I was growing up, we thought collagen was junk. Nobody used collagen. That was just like gelatin. Nobody ever thought anything about it. It was the lowest grade protein. Nobody ever wanted to touch it. We wanted whey protein or beef protein or egg protein. And guys, even if you're not working out, collagen's benefits are amazing. Whether you're working out or just trying to look good, trying to prevent aging, it's really, really amazing. So let's jump right into it. What is collagen? Well, collagen basically is the most abundant protein in the human body. Up to 30% of all the protein in your body, 70% of the skin, hair, nails, and nearly 100% of connective tissues are collagen. Guys, it literally holds you together. It's literally the glue that holds your body together, makes up your skin, makes up your bone, hair, skin, and nails. It pretty much does everything. Every inch of your skin, your scalp is all made of collagen. Problem is after 25 years, you start to lose your collagen. Production of collagen slows dramatically as we age and our body stops replenishing collagen as quickly as it did when we were young. So even at young as 25, your body stops producing as much collagen as it did when you were much, much younger than that. Our skin begins to look older with less elasticity, vibrancy, and hydration. We often experience creaky joints, thinner, brittle hair, nails, and even gut disturbances. Yes, collagen can actually help with your gut. There's almost no end to what this, this miracle compound can do. The problem is women experience a bigger impact than guys do. A typical woman can expect to lose about 1% to 2% of her body's collagen every year starting in her mid-30s and increases as it makes her way through her 40s, 50s, and beyond. There's up to 75% less collagen in elderly adults as compared to those in young adulthood. So ladies, once again, you have got to make sure that you are supplementing with collagen. And we're gonna talk about that towards the end. So make sure you watch to the end because I'm gonna tell you where you can find collagen, but also to what kind of supplements I use for collagen and my family. Type one collagen is the most abundant type of collagen in our bodies. It forms your skin, your bones, your tendons. And what do tendons do? Tendons hold your muscle to your bones. So every time you make a bicep or flex your arm, that little piece right there, that's the part that attaches to the bone and attaches to the muscle. So really, really important. If you didn't have tendons, you couldn't move at all. Corneas, okay, so your eyes. Blood vessel walls and connective tissue. So once again, this is everywhere in your body. You, you just tend to think of collagen as, oh, collagen's in my skin, it's in my face, it's in my hair, it's in my nails. No ladies, no men, it is everywhere in your body. Type one is a top choice for anti-aging since it is the building block of skin and wound healing. So type one is really where it's at, but what we're gonna recommend is that you get all five types. Now there is more than five, I believe there's over 60 but we're gonna talk about the main five. Those are the five that you really, really wanna focus in on. If you wanna be healthy, well, and prevent aging. Now, let me change that. Nobody prevents aging. You're gonna age. We all age, okay? None of us are going back in time, but we do wanna age gracefully, and hey, yeah, if we can, if we can get stronger and better than we were years ago, and I'm all for that. And you know what? You can. You can actually get better as the years go on, not that you're anti-aging, but you can actually age better, more healthy. You could do more push-ups than you did when you were maybe 35. You could do more sit-ups than you did when you were, say, 15. You can actually get better and better as time goes on, and collagen is going to be a big, big part of it. 
Number two, relieves joint pain. Think about this, the collagen is making up the cartilage in your joints. Type two collagen is a major collagen found in cartilage. Cartilage is the connective tissue which protects the ends of the long bones and joints and it is the structural component of the ear, the nose, bronchial tubes, rib cage, and more. As the collagen in your body decreases with age, your risk of degenerative joint disorders such as osteoarthritis increase. So the very structure of the bones, not to mention the connective tissue at the end of the bones, if you're not maintaining that, you start to end up with arthritis. Now, we all know about arthritis, but what does it really mean? Well, arthro means joint and itis means inflammation. So you start to get this joint inflammation and that's what starts to trigger the pain that you experience later on in life as you start to get more and more inflammation in your joints and start to get more and more joint degeneration or deterioration. So this is going to help prevent that. In fact, studies prove that. Studies in people with osteoarthritis found that taking collagen led to significant improvements in joint stiffness and overall osteoarthritic symptoms. Researchers have theorized that supplemental collagen may accumulate in cartilage and stimulate your own tissues to make collagen. In turn, this may lead to lower inflammation, better joint support, and reduced pain. So taking collagen supplementation can actually help your body stimulate its own collagen. So that's the name of the game here. Start to take that so that way you can help your own joints repair, function better, and reduce that inflammation. And you've heard me talk about this in other videos. Anything you can do, even diet-wise, to reduce inflammation is a big thing. Now, how do you do that? You get off your processed refined carbs, bad fats, bad meats. Now, what do I mean by that? Fats aren't bad, but bad fats are bad. Seed oil, oils from like Wesson, Crisco, canola oil, things like that. Even your, your, your sunflower oils. If these oils are produced using chemicals and heat, it is not good for you. Okay? It causes inflammation. Bad meats, meaning commercially raised meats, meats that are raised on junk that we wouldn't feed you know, anybody. This stuff is so poor that they're feeding it because they just want to fatten them up. So they're giving cows and chickens and things like that, pork, all kinds of bad, bad foods that aren't even really foods. A lot of times they're eating their own waste or they're eating grains which are inflammatory. So you want to avoid that. You want to avoid a lot of the carbs, the fats, and the meats that are all highly refined, highly processed, and stick to as much food as possible as the way God created it. Number three, prevents bone loss. Just as collagen in your body deteriorates with age, so does bone mass. This may lead to conditions such as osteoporosis, which is characterized by low bone density and higher risk of bone fractures. Studies note that collagen supplements may help to inhibit the bone breakdown that leads to osteoporosis. In a 12-month study, postmenopausal women took either a calcium and vitamin D supplement with 5 grams of collagen or calcium and vitamin D without collagen daily. At the study's end, those taking calcium, vitamin D, and collagen supplement had significantly lower blood levels of proteins that promote bone breakdown than those who took only the calcium and vitamin D. The collagen group also had lower loss of bone mineral density. Another study found that similar results in 66 postmenopausal women who took 5 grams of collagen daily for 12 months. Those who took the collagen exhibited an increase of up to 7% in bone mineral density compared to those who did not take collagen. So just taking your vitamin D and calcium didn't do as much as the group that took the vitamin D, calcium, and collagen. So once again, you want to make sure you're getting calcium, vitamin D, of course, vitamin D2 with K, and also collagen. Those three work the best together to start to increase bone density in the body, not to mention exercise. You want to make sure you're exercising with weights. You want to really increase bone density, put some stress on those bones. Now, I don't mean swimming although I'm not taking anything away from swimming, I'm not mentioning or not knocking using exercise bands or machines or pulleys. 
but those don't put weight on your body. You have to increase weight on your body. Now, I don't mean increasing body weight, okay? I'm not talking about that. We're talking about using weights. Now, not heavy stuff. You don't need to be lifting too heavy. So ladies, gentlemen out there who are maybe a little up there in age, you don't have to worry about lifting heavy weights. But if you just lift weights that provide some kind of resistance, your bones and your muscles have to grow. In fact, there's a law called Wolf's Law, which means that when you put increased pressure and stress on your bones, the bones have to grow to accommodate that. I had a patient many years ago who was telling about his dad. They were both power lifters, the son and the dad, but the dad had injured his elbow in a powerlifting competition. When the doctors tried to screw his tendons back in and screw the joint back together, they were busting screws trying to get it into his bones because they were so, so dense from lifting the heavy weights. Now, once again, you don't have to lift the heavy weights, but just start lifting some weights to also increase bone loss and bone density. Number four, improves heart health. Now, how many times do we hear heart health is one of the, the foremost killers, okay? We're talking about silent killers, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, okay? But heart disease and cancer are your biggest silent killers that we always hear about. So heart disease can be prevented by taking collagen supplementation. Researchers have theorized that type 3 collagen supplements may help reduce the risk of heart conditions. Collagen provides structure to your arteries, the blood vessels that carry blood from your heart to the rest of your body. Without enough collagen, the arteries may become less flexible and elastic. So remember guys, we're always talking about the elasticity of our arteries as our arteries become less elastic. It's like trying to blow water through a straw that's not allowing the straw to expand. All of a sudden, you're just trying to push water through it, or even air through it, or in this case, blood through it, and the arteries aren't pliable, they aren't expanding. If you start to take collagen, it's been proven that it will actually help the elasticity of your arteries. Not doing this may lead to atherosclerosis, a disease characterized by the narrowing of your arteries, and this condition can also lead to heart attack and stroke. So you wanna make sure you're taking collagen to help with the elasticity. I can't repeat it enough times, you wanna make sure. So like I said, watch to the end because I'm gonna talk about what kind of supplementation you can do and where are your sources of collagen. In a six month study, 31 healthy adults took 16 grams of collagen daily. They had experienced a significant reduction in measures of artery stiffness from the beginning of the study to its end. Additionally, their levels of HDL rose by an average of 6%. HDL is an important factor in the risk of heart disease conditions, including atherosclerosis. So it even helped with production of HDL cholesterol. And once again, I'm going to say this over and over again. I'm going to beat it up. I don't believe there's good or bad cholesterol. I'm not going to get into it here because both cholesterols have a reason, have a purpose. In fact, they're very, very big purposes and reasons. So go watch the videos I did on cholesterol to really get a good idea about what I really believe is the problems that we have with cholesterol. Number five, improves skin health. And this is a, this is a gimme, okay? <laughs> this is a layup because we all know that collagen is good for skin. It's good for hair. It's good for nails. But how good is it? Type 4 collagen is a major component of your skin. It plays a role in strengthening the skin as well as the elasticity and hydration. As you age, your body produces less collagen, leading to dry skin and the formation of wrinkles. However, several studies have shown that collagen peptides or supplements containing collagen may help slow the aging of your skin by reducing wrinkles and dryness. One review of 11 studies focusing mostly on women found that taking 3 to 10 grams of collagen per day for an average of 69 days led to improvements in skin elasticity and hydration. So, I know, like I said, that was a layup. That was a given. You want to make sure you're taking collagen for your skin. And number six, healthier pregnancies, right? Who would have thought that? Healthier pregnancies. Now, why? Why does that benefit by taking collagen when you're pregnant? Well, type 5 collagen is required to create the cells of a pregnant woman's placenta, which provides the baby with the vital elements of survival, including oxygen and nutrients. Type 5 collagen also helps to form cell surfaces and hair. All right, so there you have it. Another great benefit of collagen we never would have thought but turns out, of course, since it's going into making so many structures as we're older, why wouldn't it benefit when a baby's just forming in the mother's womb? Now, I want to talk about, too, 
what kind of foods are beneficial for collagen? Which ones are collagen rich? Foods that contain gelatin, such as bone broth, provide collagen. Collagen is found in the connective tissue of animals. Thus, foods such as chicken skin, pork skin, beef and fish are also great sources of collagen. And vitamin C is crucial for collagen synthesis. So you should also be sure that foods rich in this vitamin, such as citrus fruits, broccoli, and bell peppers. So take Collagen, of course, in these different foods, but you also want to make sure that you're using foods high in vitamin C, which help in collagen synthesis, which means it helps to make the collagen. So which brand do I recommend? And I'm going to include a link down below. So if you want to get this brand, make your shopping easy. You can just go on Amazon and I'll put a link to it down below in the description. But the brand I like a lot is Ancient Nutrition. So I know the people that produce this brand. I know the company. I know the integrity very good friend of mine for about probably 30 years uh, produced this. So this company I like a lot. They've got all five of them in here. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five. So all five types are in this. So you don't want to take the time to go look for it, research it on your own. Go ahead and get this one. Like I said, I'll put the link down below so that you can make it real easy on yourself and you can get this. But it's great for skin, hair, nails, of course. We knew that. Joints, gut health. And it also provides some protein too. So it's also an excellent source of protein. So if you want to build some muscle mass, use your collagen. Anyway, guys, I hope you love the video. Don't go away. I've got a message for you at the end. If you're struggling with health issues, make sure you see it. I truly, truly want to help you in any way I can. So once again, give me comments. Let me know in the comments section any way I can help you out. But also watch the little clip I put at the end. So that way, if you're having health issues and struggling, you don't have to struggle anymore. If you want our help, we can show you how that works. Anyway, guys, I love and appreciate you. This is Dr. Nick. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, I just want to take a moment to speak with you. You know, so many of you are struggling, you're suffering, whether it be with weight loss or weight issues, you're struggling with diabetes or heart disease or any other type of metabolic disorder. Well, you're not alone. Right now, there's over 133 million people who are struggling with diabetes or prediabetes. More than 78% of our population is overweight, and the majority of them are actually obese. Well, the guys, there's no shortage of information out there. There's information everywhere. In fact, it's daunting. It's like drinking water from a fire hose, and you're thinking, I don't know what to believe. I don't know what's out there, what's true, what's not true, who to believe, who not to believe. And actually, it's so much information, it's so hard to process. But the important thing to realize is, although there's information out there, there's no transformation. There's so much information. We have things you can Google, you can YouTube, you can look up anywhere. There's no shortage of gyms, yet we still have so many of our population that is sick and struggling with health issues with no answers in sight. And once again, like I said, there's information but no transformation. And guys, it's all about transformation. And that's what we'd like to do for you, is to help you transform your body, to help you live the life that God created you to be. So many of you have a sole purpose that you know you're not fulfilling because you don't feel well, or your head hurts, or your body aches, or you just don't have enough energy to take on the day. Well, guys, what we're offering you is opportunity to get some help. Don't try to figure this out on your own. There's so much information. It's so hard to figure it all out on your own. Well, you don't have to. If you want more information about how we can help you, just click the link down below. I put a link in the description box that'll take you to a webinar. You can watch the webinar. And if it makes sense to you, if it resonates with you, if it vibes with you, and if you really feel it's in your heart to, to look into it further, at the end of the webinar, it gives you an option to schedule a call with me. We'll get on a call, we'll laugh, we'll cry, we'll find out what's working and not working in your health. We'll find out what your health goals are. Really, where do you want to go with your health if you can have optimal health? And if I can help you achieve that, I'll show you what that looks like. If not, that's okay too. I'll do the best I can to steer you in the right direction as to what serves you the best. But it all starts with you raising your hand, clicking the link and going to the webinar, and then scheduling a call. From there, like I said, we'll figure out if we can help you. If not, my goal is to give you clarity, but more importantly, to give you the next action steps that you need to be taking to regain your health. So guys, I look forward to speaking with you. I love and appreciate you, and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye-bye.